what would you be considering maintenance on a solar system, right? I mean, every once in a while you want to get up on your roof and clean out your gutters and maybe if you have a lot of trees blow off uh, debris on your trees or what have you. On a solar system, pretty much the only thing that you'd want to look out for are the uh, instances of high pollen that we have throughout the year and then just kind of wash those off and it should just take water okay if you get it uh, soon enough should just take water it shouldn't be a big deal um, if you're in an area that's a very high traffic area or close to a highway you might get a little bit more debris than other places and that is one of those instances where uh, visually you can see if you have a two-story roof um, you might not be able to see it, but you'll be able to see it on your monitoring and buy it from us or buy it from somebody else, but everybody should be offering monitoring free with your system. Um, and that's a benefit for the customer to see what's going on and a benefit for the, for the installer and the contractor that installed it for you. Because then if you have any concerns, you can call them up. You can call us up or them if they do this and say, hey, I think I have a problem with X. And they can just get on their computer and look up your system. And then kind of look at it historically. And then also look at the weather. Uh, look at some comparable systems in your area. Another good reason to choose us, because we've been doing this for nearly 20 years, we have thousands of systems out there now. And I guarantee you, we have one close to you. Um, and we can actually do some comparisons and see if there is an issue, okay? So if you can't see whether it's got a bunch of debris on it, but you think that you have reduced performance, you can give us a call. Uh, we can compare it with one of the other systems in your area, see if it does have reduced performance, and roll a service truck. And somebody can come out there and not only see if it needs to be rinsed off, but also see if it's producing correctly and see if there's any other issue. If you do rinse off your solar system, do not use detergents. Don't use cleaners, okay? Because detergents and cleaners will wash out your encapsulate, the, uh, the sealant around your frames, and you could get water to eventually go inside of your solar panels, and that will be out of warranty. <laughs> so <laughs> you will have a failure, and then it will be out of warranty. So don't use cleaners and don't use uh, detergents. Uh, and when you rinse them off, first thing in the morning, not after they've gotten hot, not after the sun has actually come up, we're talking about break it on or right after sunset, okay? Because we want them to be cooler. We don't want them to be so hot. They can run 140 to 180 degrees and you spray water on that, you're gonna now have a whole bunch of water spots on there that are going to not be easy to remove, okay? But if you rinse them off and clean them off when they're not so hot, you're not gonna have that problem. And that's pretty much it. Michael Brown, Solar Ray, I hope this has been informative. If you have any more questions or concerns or anything else you'd like to see a video about, please leave comments below. Have a great month.